Hey everybody, it's Shannon Gregg and I am joining you today for another Business Books Briefs where I review brand new business books or old standard business books and I let you know if you should spend your time reading them. So today I'm super excited to be reviewing Get Your Game Face On by Dawn Fuchs Coleman and you can see her tagline is The Secret to Growing Your Company in Any Economy. One of the things that's really fascinating about this book is she published it right before the pandemic hit. And I don't know if Dawn has some secret vision that she's able to look into the future, but she gave a ton of tips in here that have been really helpful for me in my company during this time of sort of economic instability with a global pandemic occurring. So I want to share with you some of the things that I found really impactful about Dawn's book and spoiler alert, I am going to tell you to get yourself this book. <laughs> so Dawn does a really good job of talking about leadership and things that your employees want and she's got checklists that show you exactly how to make sure that you're doing the right thing by your company, by your employees. Now you can see that get your game face on stands for something. So FACE stands for fair, assertive, consistent, and everyday, and she really walks you through that in the book, which is marvelous. I want to share, though, as you know, in business book briefs, I like to share my most favorite part, the part I go back to over and over and over again, the part I sticky note, and for me, it's chapter seven, the three points of profitability. These are excellent, quick points that you can look at and say, am I hitting these three points? Are the decisions I'm making about my business or my sales territory following these specific things? And you are going to see immediately why I love them so much. So the first one is staying lean and mean. Now, a lot of people during the pandemic had layoffs or they had uncomfortable decisions to make about where budget was going because people just didn't understand what was going to happen, how long it was going to last and what was going to be the ultimate outcome of it. So one of the things that Dawn tells you is when you take your pencil to the books, when things are lean and you know that you've got some hard choices to make based on sales or based on the way that your market is trending, people have a tendency to say, I know exactly how to calm down our spending, how to make sure that our P&L statements look appropriate. One of the things that Don recommends to you is that you stay lean and mean even when times are good. So use that same very focused approach to the way that you run that P&L, that EBITDA. Make sure that you're staying lean and mean all of the time. The second one that she tells you is install dashboard lights. Now, since most of the people that I work with use Salesforce or another CRM system, you understand the concept of a dashboard, right? This is giving you leading and lagging indicators to tell you, is my business working? Are we doing the things that we need to do to make sure the outcome is going to be what we want it to be? Don gives some really good advice here um, in the next chapter about how to pull together a special operations squad who can help you to decide what the best KPIs and metrics are for your company if you don't have a board or a group of people who are sort of dictating them to you. So getting people in all of the different uh, departments to come in and say, here's my input on the KPIs and the metrics is something that she recommends and I think is an awesome idea. And the last one, which if you got her book prior to the pandemic, you would have been like, Yahoo! Retaining cash at year end. So sure, you may have loads of cash left over and Dawn tells a very good story about her father who was a business owner and the way that cash at the end of the year would be used and I'm not going to spoil that for you because I think you should read it and she changed the philosophy on that in the company and making sure that you've got that sort of rainy day slush fund is great for both personal <laughs> finances and it's also really good for your business finances right have that cash on hand in case something unexpected comes up so that you can make sure that you've got things in order and you don't feel stressed out whenever things start to change with the economy with your market with your products and services and your other offerings so you've got to get this book it is a quick and easy read she gives you area at the end to take your good notes when you have ideas as you're reading through the book and I think you will enjoy it and it will be something that you will revisit over and over again hey Thanks for joining me today for Business Book Briefs. Please feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn. It's Shannon J. Gregg. 
You can follow me on Twitter, Shannon J. Gregg, or visit my website. My personal website is shannongregg.com, and my Salesforce consultancy is cloudadoption.solutions. Thanks, and have a great day.